Hi. Now, I've got three integrals here in this video that have a common theme. You might think that to integrate these, at first glance, you've got to use integration by parts, but we don't, okay? You could do. It would take you a lot longer to work out. It's much simpler, though, and you get a nicer solution when you use the definitions for shine x and cosh x, okay? So, that's what the aim of this particular video is. Now, you might already know how to proceed with these, so uh, I'll give you a few moments if you want to go ahead just to pause the video. When you come back, fast forward just to check your answers. Otherwise, I'm going to take you slowly through the work solutions. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So don't forget, you can fast forward just to check your answers out quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to take you slowly through these. Now, when it comes to this first one here, then we're going to pick up on the definition for shine x, which you should know is e to the x minus e to the power minus x. And that's all over 2. So I'm going to substitute that in and our integral becomes this one, OK? e to the 2x times all of e to the power x minus e to the minus x all over 2. Now, I'm going to pull out a half and expand our brackets, OK, here. Doing that just gives us a half the integral of all of e to the 3x minus e to the x, OK? So integrating e to the 3x, well, that's going to be e to the 3x over 3. And the integral of minus e to the x, well, that's just going to be minus e to the x. So you should have that result there. And your constant of integration, c. Now, I could leave it like that, but I'm going to pull out a third out the front here with the half. That's going to give us 1 sixth. Make an adjustment in the bracket, and we end up with 1 sixth e to the 3x minus 3e to the power x plus c. OK, so again, I could leave it like that, but I noticed that I could pull out e to the power x as a common factor as well. So if you went down that route, your answer would be this. e to the power x over 6 multiplied by e to the power 2x minus 3 plus that constant of integration c. OK, so if you didn't have a go at these and just needed to be shown how to do this, you might now have the confidence to go on and try this one here and even this one at the end. So just give you a short time just to pause the video and we'll move on. OK, so with cosh 4x, with cosh 4x, it's very similar to the definition for shine x, only for cosh x, it would be e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. But when we've got cosh 4x, we just replace the x with 4x, OK? So putting that in, you're going to get this integral here, the integral of e to the 3x, OK, that part there. But for cosh 4x, it's going to be e to the power 4x plus e to the power minus 4x all over 2. So just like we did here, I'm going to pull out the half and I'm going to expand the bracket. So if you do that, you're going to get half the integral of e to the 7x plus e to the minus x. And then we can integrate both those two terms there in the usual way. And you're going to get a half of e to the 7x over 7 minus e to the power minus x plus that constant of integration c. So again, you could leave it like this. I'm pulling out a seventh though to join that half. So we're going to get 1 14th out the front. And if you adjust the inside of the bracket, you'll find you've got e to the 7x minus 7e to the power minus x plus that constant of integration c. OK, now with this last one, we can easily change this into something very similar to what we have here. Because e to the power x all cubed is the same as e to the power 3x, we can bring that up to the top as e to the power minus 3x and then use the definition for shine 5x 
that will be this one here, only replacing the x with a 5x. Okay, so our integral will take on this shape here. Now I can just pull out my half, expand the bracket as we've done before, and you're going to get half the integral of e to the power 2x minus e to the power minus 8x. We're integrating that all with respect to x, and if you do that, you should get a half e to the 2x over 2 plus e to the minus 8x over 8 plus that c. And again, you could leave it like this, but uh, if we put this all over 8, pulled out 1 8th to join that half. Half times 1 8th is 1 16th. Made the adjustments inside the brackets to compensate for that. We're going to have 1 16th then of 4 e to the 2x plus e to the power minus 8x plus that constant of integration c. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this particular section. Hope you're able to follow that. If so, do give us a like if you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to get updates of any future videos that I put up. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you in another video. So bye for now.